Hello there, play the game. It is Sam here. Welcome back to oh, Central. To and today I have for you a little map breakdown of Downhill, which is the snowy pretty map in uh, the Revolution map pack. And I'm going to be taking you through the map, showing you things like uh, little things that are references, even though they're probably not, because this map is surprisingly void of references and Easter eggs, at least that I've found, or if not found. So without further ado, let's just run into the cabin, see what we can find here. We have the fridge that seems to be open. That's probably why it's so cold outside. Uh, let's move on here. Oh, there's a jar of pickles on the table. Uh, not important, but it amused me, so I figured I should show you anyway. Uh, right, we've got the fireplace. It's really cozy. There seems to be like a light in there. What the hell is that? I don't know, but... Uh, here we have the books like Frankenstein and Jungle Book, just, you know, the classic random books on the shelves from uh, games like Black Ops 1. Uh, here we have a really detailed photo of what appears to be a mountain range or valley. I wonder what that could be. Oh, and here's this, a, uh, you know, we got the Eiffel Tower. Could this be referencing to a zombie Paris map? Probably not, considering this map is in France, so, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. It's like a advertisement or something I mean is there going to be a zombie Paris map because of this poster probably not but you know I felt content to show you anyway uh, let's head upstairs we got some nice art on the wall the art is good ex except for that I don't like that uh, we have oh here's the bookshelf we've seen this in a few other maps with the uh, the humorous book titles like uh, it's dancing like a freak the book of beefy food is good <laughs> Uh, the World in the World, uh, 2025, that's cool. Uh, there's uh, down here, A Bird with No Book and uh, A Cloudy Day is Not Sunny. So there you go with that. Oh, we have our, we have our 935 clock up here. That's, you know, can't, have, can't not have that in the map. Uh, more detailed photos, more books. Pretty much it for the cabin. I mean, nothing else that I can find that's really interesting. Here we have the snowman, which you can shoot his hat off, which is very, very fun. Uh, SOS phone, in case of Chris. Uh, let's see, we have French stuff. I can't read French, so your guess is as good as mine, what this says. Uh, here we have a nice, interesting warning side. If you fall off a cliff, be sure to land on your head to avoid any painful death. You know, if you land on your head, you're right there, you're dead. Didn't feel a thing. Words to live by. Here we have uh, magazines featuring some of the other multiplayer maps. Uh, these two, this one and the bottom one, are actually this map. And uh, I don't think this is a map, but it looks like the uh, fancy sports car out front in a plaza with, you know, Colossus on the big ship thing. Uh, his raid, uh, grind, the skate park, which has already been done. And the rest are just advertisements, so... Oh, we got a virus, too. There's a virus. That's not good. Uh, we should probably get someone on that as soon as possible. Here we have the futuristic perk-looking machines. I'm not... I don't want to say perk machines, because... I mean, they could be... Could there be perk machines, like us in the future, like for zombie maps? Probably, but... I don't know. It, it doesn't look that way. Like, they're sticking with the old machines. Will these be a new machine? Or... I don't know. I would like to see these as new machines. At least, not all of them. I would not like them to replace everything. But maybe, like, for some new perks, they could, you know, use some of the design. I love these fire extinguishers. I have to knife one. I have to knife these things. They just come out and say, oh, so pretty. Uh, here's the fancy coding stuff from, uh... It was on another map. I can't remember what it was. I think it was Express. And I don't think there's anything in here of too much importance. I mean, you know... Feel yeah, yeah, I can't talk today. Feel free to look through this, and if you find anything cool, you are an amazing hacker person. Whoa, that fucking scared the shit out of me. Uh, I'm laying my tactical insertion down there for a reason. You will see that in a moment. Uh, I found an interesting little glitch on this map, which is very funny, and it could actually be helpful as well. So you know, stick around for that. Random lockers. There's like nothing in these. A snowmobile. A fun bag bag of fun. Yeah, that's great. Uh, we have a very nice half pipe down here, and here's like a newscasting station for like, uh, 
you know, TV shows broadcasting the events, the games, the half pipe. This is sport, baby. And that's enough of that. We have a location de skis. We are going in here to see the fancy snowboards and skis and all this wonderful merchandise. And if you, you can actually see that. Uh, you can see it much better in theater mode, but the wh whoever was running the shop was looking at drone blueprints. So, you know, that's cool. Don't know why you do that. Um, that looks very similar to the iPod advertisement a while back. Not much else in this shop. I mean, I mean, there is this right here. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Just shoot it, and these things like spin around. Except it's not spinning for some reason. What the? F it usually spins around. I promise you, it works. Oh, you're not. They're not gonna believe me now. <laughs> Fucking shit. Okay, let's run over here I'll, along this crashed tree. Throw that out there because that was important. Uh, this is the last building of the map, pretty much, that has anything important. Nothing too much in here, you know, this virus stuff again. Uh, here's the Paris map thing again, you know. That's in here, I think, twice. And does it mean anything? Probably not, but, you know. Never hurts to point it out. So, uh, the last thing I'm going to be showing you is the little glitch that I found in this map. I'm not taking credit for this. I mean, it's not crazy important. It's just funny. It, that, that's all it is. All you have to do, just wait till this gondola gets here, and then you just dolphin dive right into it. And the result will be... Nope, didn't do it. Fuck you. You're messing up my stuff, man. There we go. And your dead body will be frozen in time. Look at that. Now, this could actually be used as a distraction. You know, imagine like an enemy running in here. Oh god, there's a guy! Shoot him! That's not a guy, that's a dead body. Look how cool that is. And look, it even bleeds. It even bleeds. And it's apparently very windy in here. Shit, that almost killed me. And that's actually very funny to me. You can do this as many times as you want, I think. I don't know how many dead bodies are able to be here before they start despawning. But, I mean, look at that. We got, we got an army of guys right here. Just ready to go. They don't have any guns, but, you know. Oh, that one didn't do it. But that's that. Uh, use this to your advantage in multiplayer. I mean, will they ch will, will they patch this? I don't. I want to say no because I mean it's just funny. They're like frozen in this smashed position, and they they look like they're dancing, and that's fun to me. So thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more shit. <laughs> subscribe for more shit. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.